This is where the DOT decided to pull over this truck. Beautiful day. One owner car guy. Oneownercarguy.com. In Ventura County. This is Simi Valley. And like, it's like Rock Haven. I don't know why they call Montana Rocky Mountains because this is pretty Rocky Mountains. I don't even know what kind of video I'm gonna do. I got no clue. I couldn't tell you. But I know this, I've went shopping. I've got some rum. I've got some margarita mix or daiquiri mix, which is what we're going for. And man, that Corvette's beautiful. If you want that Corvette, you need to get a hold of me because it ain't gonna be around forever. I was waiting for my little pumper upper thing to stop pumper rumper it. Yeah, I know we're talking. Can't even taste the rum, man. Mm -mm. Okay, well, this has quickly turned into fudge night. I made tacos. I had a taco. That was pretty good. Two more minutes of this balling. Mmm. We're gonna have fudge. Made a dent in the fucking rum, I'll tell you that much. Keep that running. Well, I would have made a video, but I didn't remember, of dumping the chocolate chips in here. So, got that. I'm going to cheat a little bit. Put this on high heat. And I got her. Yes. Look at what half of this is. Jeez. I can't wait to eat this. in the Uber. Boom! Ernesto in a Honda. I'm getting alerts and shit. Where am I going? How long? 13 fucking minutes. Okay. Maybe it's time to slow down on the liquor, reader. Hmm. The food should help. This is another one of these. I wonder how many dentists have had people show up, not only high off of Valium and Vicodin that they're given, which I've got to take. It doesn't, my mouth hurts like crazy right now. Where are you going, the jet? Huh? Where are you going? Dentist. Dentist, food? No, forget all my teeth fixed. Oh, okay, dentista. Yeah, dentista. there you go. Yeah, dentista, is that how you say dentista, it? Yeah. They gave me pills to take so I would be Can oh. I take or take it out? Uh, three root canals. Oh. <laughs> I'm not looking. They gave me volume to make yeah, me take it out you know how and this and down. I was gonna go to Mexico. Oh yeah? It's much cheaper. Oh yeah, I know how much you pay for everything maybe it's cheaper. Eight hundred dollar? It's cheaper, yeah. yeah. How's it going? You know, no, the, the Uber, the Uber was just really a pain this morning. Yeah, yeah. Good man, you working out? I'm trying. At the gold gym? It's just a shirt. It's just a shirt. Actually, I had no shirt, so I had to take my woman's shirt. It's pink and all. I don't care, my man. It's okay. It's pink. It's good. 
My son wears pink all the time. I love pink. <laughs> he wears it all on Thursday, October, on the football, and he's all pinked out. <laughs> <laughs> I think your girlfriend called Jesse, is that correct? Um, yes. Yeah, so she she verified your appointment and Maggie spoke to her on the phone. Oh, I need to go? Here. Ready? I gotta go. Uh, my, well, I was gonna go. Through. I need to. <laughs> I need to talk uh, money too. I have my card with me now. Okay. I didn't have my card before. Yes. Okay. Last time. You want to figure out over there, and then I come back. And however you want to do it. Okay, that sounds good. How are you doing? Mm, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm here. You want to watch Netflix? No, I'm good. They're there. It hurts. It hurts? Uh, they all hurt. But there's nerves there. It's nerves, so it'll hurt. Uh, oh. What can you do? my bird gray my buddy's had her for a while you want to get out you want to get out hi oh your tail feathers are growing back oh you're such a pretty bird you're such a pretty bird your tail feathers are all coming back look at you you're pretty look what I got He's a good girl. He's a good girl. Yeah. Yes, you are. Hey, no, 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 no. No need to bite me that hard. There you go. She loves to tear that cardboard apart. You go get it, girl. You've been so good, too. Everybody loves a gray bird. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye bye, be a good girl. At the gold gym. I wanted to get a picture by this thing, but I didn't. Yay! Yay. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> you just hear people, huh? You know there's people all happy, huh? Uh, the girls today are coming in right now. Uh, they need to look at it, but it should be okay. Either way, it's a complimentary exam. So just come on in. Uh, you're welcome to my seat. All right. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. I'll be outside hanging around, man. It is pretty cool how you can track them up to the minute. Wow. How you doing? Good. Yeah. The site has to be cleaned up, and they've been told that many times. Everything's... Oh, I know. <laughs> Anyhow, all right, my guy's going to show up here and I'm going to see what I got going here and i got to put that trash in. Okay. That's, 
Okay, they're on having that Hugo guy give you a call, so you might hear from him in a while. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. Well, I don't know what you could and couldn't hear of that, but that's basically the continuation of my apartment problem. It's fire code people, it's building code, it's health department, it's everything. And this guy's saying this isn't permitted, and that guy's saying it's not supposed to be like this, and this guy doesn't know, and oh god, it's a mess. And I'll tell you, if I had the car thing done and out of my way, I wouldn't be so worried about the mess, because I'd have, I mean, it'd still be a mess, believe me, it's a mess. But, the way it is right now, I cannot even frickin' breathe. I gotta do so much on cars, and if I stop on the cars for a second, the eight ball rolls over me and I ain't got the money to pay bills. And the thing is, is the bills we're kind of getting paid a little bit by all the income from these apartments. Well, not no more. Now it's costing me $10,000 a month for three hotel rooms. So, I'll clip more in a while here. I don't even remember at what point that I was talking about that. My right hand. I can move it just fine. If I try to grip something or hold it, pain shoots all right here and up around my shoulder, my, my thing. I got a, I got a freaking problem. I got a big problem here. My teeth, my teeth are fucked. I spent like $13,000. It's gonna be the total. It was gonna be like, they got it by the time, I just had another chunk that kinda, old crowns, man, I'm telling you, take care of your teeth. It went from like 28 to 35 to, 42 and what I was really gonna pay from 68 to 65, I mean 75 to now something like 13 is what's gonna cost me by the time it's said and done because I needed a specialist and I got sick in between and had doctor and sepsis almost and almost died. I'm not taking care of me and getting to where I need to be because I'm so busy running around doing all this stuff and I just can't do it anymore. It's just too much. 12.34 I'm going to arrive in two hours and 30 minutes. <sighs> and that just hurt like hell when I smacked that. So, this is the video and I'm going to make something else in it, I don't know. But I'm here to tell you, if there's been any cars that you've been watching and you're like, ooh, I love that car. If there's been something where you're like, oh, I'm going to wait for him to go bonkers enough and have to sell things. Well, I don't really have to sell things yet, but I'm selling things. I'm out of this. I can't do the same thing the same way that I've been doing things all this time. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of doing what I'm doing by myself. If I get a good right-hand man, it ain't even fun to go to the goddamn auction by yourself, really. I mean, it is. I like cars. I like going. But then it just bees me. It bees. It's me walking around making a video talking to myself. And maybe a couple people I know that I see there, but... Then people aren't people I want to talk to. Then people are my enemies. They're talking to me to see what I've seen there and see what I know about things that I did see. They're trying to glean information from me. I'm not into that. So, no matter what, I either going to have a good work environment or I'm working with some people I like, or I'm going to retire. And I'm going to go back to just not doing all that. Getting my bills down to where it's got income coming in from my property and I can just professionally gamble again. It's, I, I retired for about a year, back about 10 years ago. And honestly, it got boring. But at that time, it's what I wanted to do. And I still did some things in between and it gave me time to take a breath and want to want to do what I wanted to do. And it seems like this time of poking my head out of the rabbit hole, in the last eight years, it's just not been worth it. It really has just not been worth it. I've put a lot of it on YouTube. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do anymore. I don't know how I'm going to do it anymore. I just know that I'm moving along. I'm hustling and shuffling, and I'm trying. I'm probably going to have a massive coronary or heart attack or something. It's just, it's getting to be too much. It's too much stress. It's too much pressure. 
and after I get done dealing with all the problems and the phone calls all day, and I start at 5.45, 6 o'clock every morning, jump right on the computer, and by the time all the problems start fading away and it starts to be the time when people get home to work, phone starts ringing again around 5 o'clock or so, talk to a couple people in the evening, do a Facebook post or answer some YouTube questions or... You know, it's awful lonely after 9 o'clock. I ain't up talking to nobody. Me and Breeder just sit around and do edit video editing, and I'm just getting sick of not connecting with people, not being in a situation that I love. When Chuck was down for a month or three weeks, three to four weeks this last time, we had a great time. Um, we didn't hang out all the time. He went and did things with his daughter, and they had their little life thing they did, and went into the beach and all that fun stuff. But every other night or so, we'd hang out and we might have a, a beer or something or sit around and talk and enjoy a video or something. And just, it's neat to plan and plot and talk about things with somebody that you enjoy being around. And when you don't have any help in your business and you're the only one running it and you're the only one doing the work, it drives you crazy. It, it just, it's getting to be to where I just don't want to do the kind of thing I'm doing anymore. But the sad thing is, is I love the things I do. And if I love the things I do, and I don't want to do them no more, that doesn't even make freaking sense. It doesn't. So it has to be things that can be changed, like methods. And I have methods of washing a car a certain way, and some people don't get it. Well, if I don't wash a car that certain way, it never gets done right. Because I don't even wash a car and make sure that that car is done on that day, because it's usually more than a one-day job for me to wash a car. It's a car detail. I'll do the motor, the tires and wheels, and get all that stuff done, and boom, and then jump on to three more things that day, come back the next day, wash the car, I'll probably wash it actually the same day I did the wheels at the night, to where it's nice, boom. Next morning, get up, buff that thing out, get the chrome all done, polished up, la da da Comes nighttime, wash that thing again, while I did stuff all day. If I don't have my methods set up and my methods going right, it kills me. I start doing tires and wheels and motor, I start getting phone calls, I start getting problems. I can't be everywhere at once. Chuck was invaluable just having the good help around that could jump in a car and go do something or meet somebody for me. I thought we had it worked out this time, man. And I'll tell you from my retail products and everything else that's supposed to happen, it takes someone who can be a good right-hand man, who can do a little bit of managing, who has some common sense, and that I trust. That person is the next building block for this business. And I've had that, I had that for a long time, now I don't. If I have that again, it'll be back to a good swing of things. If I don't have that again, I've gotta take the foot off the throttle. I've just got to. I can't keep doing this the way I've been doing this.